I, I would say that the Malaysians should be ready to engage in a healthy, reasoned discourse. But I, my position is clear. The institutional governance are certainly not ready. And number two, uh, I still hold the Pakatan Rakyat position that you must build a consensus that particularly in anything affecting the constitutional framework and the assurance to uh, Muslims in general, but more so to the position of the non-Muslims in this country. So we cannot uh, assume that's going to be uh, easily done at this stage. But religion is actually a state as well. Uh, in some of the laws, yes. uh, in, in, is it possible that states that are led by here will, will be able to actually implement the law? No, very limited uh, powers as a state lease and concurrent lease, but this affects uh, the amendment to the federal constitution. So although state um, uh, powers are clear in the state list uh, and the concurrent list, but then uh, this legislation in terms of uh, penal code has got to be cleared by the, by the parliament. That was why Dr. Mahathir then wrote to the Ministry of Planta saying no way will the federal government approve of that. I mean, it took a very tough position, even not allowing for a uh, discourse. I take a different position to say, look, no. people have the right. And you talk yourself as, as a, a Democrat, uh, you be liberal, because you have must allow for a discourse. Whether it, it, it is, uh, uh, it can be a consensus or not, then uh, you, you must be prepared to listen. But my view, which I will also express, is that look, how do we ensure under this scheme, so even if it's limited to Muslims, that they will get a fair deal, unless you overhaul the system. But, but, but politically, uh, I mean, you have a lot of support from the non-Muslims in Malaysia, and do you think that uh, by directly or indirectly supporting this Hindu law, that you will lose a lot of support from the non-Muslims for politically? Yeah. No, I, I beg to differ because sometimes when it becomes an issue of faith, issue of the Quran, it's not politically expedient. It's your faith. I mean, I pray five times a day, whether people agree or not, it's immaterial. Similarly, when it comes to our position, on our understanding of the Quran, the issue is, which is relevant, first follow up to your question, is can we use them to impose or compel others, for example? I say no. That is what I'm saying. My personal view is that I believe, even then, I, I quoted uh, Halaf and Khardawi and Baha uh, because you must see it in the broader perspective of issue of governance, justice, rule of law, not to the narrow confines of just rule. That's number one. Number two, you must allow for a reasoned discourse. That's all that I'm asking. I'm not suggesting, therefore, that it must be approved or applied under these circumstances. In fact, I have to uh, caution carefully on the interpretation, on the modus operandi, and on the institutions, and on more profound or critical building a consensus, not only among Muslims, but non-Muslims in this country. We, 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 yeah, I mean, this is very important. I mean, I, you know, this is very sensitive. That's why I'm no, and the media is deliberately provoking it. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's a very complex situation. You know, you say something, you appease the non malays the Malays, some Malays at least, they will think that you are going against the Quran. You go and say you support, then you are alienate the position non -Malays. That's why I think what we need is reason to. In, in fact, the last few days I've been struggling to write an elaborate paper of my view, or my understanding of the, or the application of the Sharia and the Hulu which I think once you put in writing, it's very difficult for people. They will still exploit. Uh, but, but you know, I think you should feel. That's why I, I, I don't play this. 
uh, my position you do from the Asian Renaissance until now it's not changed. I don't want people to play on this. So I mean, when some unknown leaders um, have not stopped some of their interest in other areas, suddenly talk about, oh, I know, nothing wrong. I'm surprised. Are you serious? Do you know that you are liable to be persecuted? I think we would, uh, before they do that, we would ask for detailed uh, discussion and engagement. Uh, because uh, when it becomes rancorous, like this, the present, okay, or the exchange is controversial, is never uh, useful to, to push through, then we will confirm the believe that uh, we are a bit uh, either dogmatic or tough in our views. So it is always important to, to, for me, uh, in my view, to build that uh, an understanding and process. And I think past leaders could be persuaded to allow for a healthy discourse, notwithstanding the strong views on the uh, issue of the legislation. Yeah.